digital footprints beyond life, a blueprint for safeguarding your digital afterlife. Apple has legacy contacts. If you're incapacitated, your trusted loved ones know how to log in to your Apple account. And there have been some horror stories recently. Um, this was, I think, in the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, about people who have their, their iPhone stolen. That's not so terrifying. I mean, it sucks. But what's really terrifying is if someone films you entering your passcode on your iPhone, and then they steal it, within like five minutes, they can change all of your Apple settings and lock you out. And there's some horror stories there. So just be really careful about your six digit code. And we use face ID, but if you're wearing a mask, it often doesn't work. So I find myself entering my code on my phone. So now I'm a lot more careful. Make sure it's a longer string of digits, not just the four digits. In Apple, you can designate a legacy contact. W what do you do? So it's from the settings on your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, under the password and security setting. And now if you name someone as a legacy contact, they can access your photos, your messages, your notes, your files, your apps, and your device backups without knowing your Apple ID or password. They cannot access movies, music, or books you've purchased. And I think that just goes to the licensing information. When you get those, you're licensing it to yourself. You do not own the content you, you are licensing from Apple or Google or these places. So we have to keep in mind, you don't own it. So it's really important to create that legacy contact. Three steps for how to do that. You designate it from the settings on your iPhone, iPad, or iMac under password and security. So you go to password and security, and you select legacy contact and you name them. Now you have to notify them. You can get, you have the option of notifying them via messages when you add them. And if they, they have to accept it. And if they accept it, they automatically, and this is kind of crazy, get a copy of a new 88 character access key stored in their Apple ID settings. It, it automatically goes to their Apple ID settings. And how do they access this 88 digit character access key if they need it? Well, they can contact, sorry, tap their name, then password and security, and then legacy contact. And they should have access to that 88 character code. They can also keep track of it safely separately. It doesn't have to, they don't have to rely on that. So when they get it, they can also just take a photo and keep that in a safe place or write it down and keep it in a safe. Do you pass away? What do they do? Well, your digital king must, they must produce a death certificate along with this 88 character alphanumeric access key generated when you name them as a contact. You can name them, but it's, it maybe it's good or bad, depending on your view of the security side of this, that. The good thing is it's it's a little bit harder for someone to get access. You can't just name them and they get access. They have to have this, this super long 88 character alphanumeric key to get access to your account. But it, keep in mind, they, they don't get access to a lot of the music and movies you might have purchased through Apple. So fun fact, this, the image on the left is an actual screenshot of the iPhone homepage. It was like this for, for nine months, many months. That is me. I was the face of the iPhone homepage for many, many months. And in fact, I um, this is, maybe it's a humble brag, I don't know. But when I was in law school, I was doing acting and commercials and some TV stuff on the side. And I booked this commercial, but they flew me up to San Francisco and they didn't tell me anything about it. They just said, you're gonna, it's a product that you cannot tell anybody about this. And they didn't even tell me it was for Apple until the morning of the first person online using Siri was me, my small piece of Siri history. And I was the face of the iPhone homepage. If you want to contact us, it's gilfix.com. But I hope you got a lot out of this. Share this video. And I hope everybody's staying safe, sane, and healthy. And I hope we get a chance to work with you and your family.